Things, beautiful people i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day i hope all is well it has been a minute since your girl has came on but the lord woke me up in prayer this morning um and y'all gonna have to bear with me on this word now i ain't gonna try to be before you too long but i want to make sure that i give everything that the lord talked about uh or gave me this morning in prayer man he i, I felt so heavy with what he what what he said so um, man, years ago, backstory, and I'll probably have to link that video in, but years ago, um, when I got out of a, a, a relationship, um, I remember my, my mindset was there are no more good men, that there are no good men. And I remember the Lord sh speaking to me and telling me that there are still good men of God out there. And then he began to show me, he began to show me couples couples who had men and and women who loved god and was trying to do things that were led by the spirit and not their flesh and i had never seen that before coming from detroit michigan i had never seen uh too many couples who you know had people who were couples who were waiting who were trusting god uh who was hearing the voice of god and allowing god to lead them I'm just going to be straight and honest. I, I, I hadn't seen it. Um, it wasn't my testimony. Um, I was in a relationship and I didn't wait. I wanted to wait, um, but I didn't. And and so it wasn't wasn't my testimony. And so the Lord showed me this and then he showed me men. Um, it just so just flooded me with men who loved him and was trying to live for him. And so um, I began, you know, to see this. And so my mindset began to change because the Lord began to speak to me and tell me, I need you to shift your mind. If you are believing me for a husband, you can't have a mindset that there are no good men because uh, that won't happen for you. You have to believe that I'm sovereign. I'm able to move in someone's heart once I get into it and change their heart uh, to, to, to make them or transform them in whom I created them to be and so it began to show me that there are good men and so my mindset my mentality my the way I spoke the way I saw men was different um and so I I, I always believe that there are good men out there I, I I don't care what the world says and what people may say I know that there are good men of God still out there and there is many more to come and so lately um, I have been so many people, so many friends have been talking to me about, you know, situationships that they're having where, you know, uh, they're seen or they're in or they know of men who are married and, and see another woman and who are, you know, married and see multiple women and their wife may not know or their wife knows or um, just some real doggish type stuff um for men and it's been like heavy on my heart like lord like this is ridiculous like i i know what you said that there is good men and so what is happening and so i, I have a few friends who are just like man there are no good men out here this, this is their mentality there are no good men and so this morning when i got up to pray the lord said to me and I'm, I'm using my phone to record, so I, I, don't, I don't have it verbatim, but I trust the Holy Spirit to give it to me. But he said to say to the men, dear men, um, we need you. Um, you are necessary. I know the world has made you feel as though you're irrelevant, you're unnecessary, you're not needed, but you are needed. You're needed to lead uh, women of God. You're, lead, you're needed to lead um, in business, you're needed to lead in ministry, you're needed to lead our young uh, boys and girls, you're needed to lead your teenage, your your adult children to show them what love is like, what, what it is to love a woman as Christ loved the church. And, and you know, I, I don't want to just say black men, all men, all men of God are needed. And so the Lord began to impress on my heart to just that we start to pray that men would turn their hearts back to God so that God can begin to do the work to heal the things that they may have seen, the things that their insecurities, the things that 
their their mother may have done their father may have done their friends may have done someone may have done to them years ago that makes them want to live a life without god or to live according to the flesh and not walk into the spirit and so man this morning i was so heavy hearted and so i wanted to come on and share that there are good men men that you are necessary that you're not irrelevant but most importantly women of god and men of god that we're praying for one another especially women that we're praying for our men that they would turn back to their first love um, i am a firm believer that if a man seeks god if a man is up praying if a man is hearing the verse of the lord um, God can walk in him and lead him to be the leader that he created him to be, to be all that God said about him in the beginning. And so I believe that God is restoring men back to their proper place, um, uh, marriages back to its proper place, relationships so that women and men of God can begin to see what it looks like, what it looked like, what God intended for from the beginning that, uh, you know, with Adam and Eve and how Adam was the first and he, you know, he had, God gave him dominion so that men can get into the proper place and begin to take the dominion that God has given to them. This is not a video to bash women or to make men more relevant than women. This has nothing to do with it. We ain't even going to go there. That, that is irrelevant. It's not about women can do everything. We need men. We need each other. It, it, God took the rib from Adam to create Eve and them two working together to fulfill what god said be fruitful multiply and replenish the earth it would take both of them to fulfill this and so it's not that a woman does not need a man we need you men and 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 period period and so we ain't gonna sit here and act like i'm just independent i don't need no man no we need you to fulfill you're needed period uh you're needed and and I, I don't believe that everyone you know will be married every woman or they want but those who want to be married understand that we need men and we need men of god we need them to get back to loving god seeking god praying um fasting uh and just leading the right way we 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 have to and so we have to pray i know god has put on my heart and i believe that he is turning the men uh, back to himself um, and it, it won't happen unless we're praying for it to happen and so I just wanted to come on and share that that if you're of the mindset that there are no good men will you pray for them <laughs> pray that God moves in their heart that there will be good men and begin to posture your heart to see the goodness uh, of God in all things um, be blessed um, that that's my challenge I challenge all of you who may watch this video to just begin to pray for the hearts and pray earnestly and, and without ceasing not just one prayer oh i pray no no continue to pray if, if you have been praying something for years or you pray every day include them in your prayers so that's it that's all we got um be blessed people of god i love you most importantly jesus christ loves you have a great day bye guys